Darren and I get asked all the time about GMOs. Are GMOs safe? Are they dangerous? Well, today during our Farm Basics time, we want to talk a little about BT corn and specifically what it is so you can understand that a lot of these GMOs are actually very, very, very safe to humans. Well, let's just start with what BT is, Brian, because we have to abbreviate it BT because the words are so long. It's Bacillus thuringiensis. And you say, what on earth does that mean? Well, we talk a lot about natural products on our show, and this is a bacillus strain, and we've got so many bacillus strains that are being used for control of insects and other things. It's a natural microbe. Natural microbes, that's what we're talking about here. Yep, so when you look at a bacteria like this, it's actually been used in agriculture for a really long time. There's a product called Dipel that gets used in organic production today. It is labeled, it is legal, it can get used in organic crops. It gets sprayed over the top for control of specific insects, like, for example, the European corn borer. With the BT trait, basically instead of spraying Dipel over the top of the crop, they're taking the same basic thing and putting it into the crop. Well, what happens is the crop will produce a protein that as that corn borer takes a bite out of the corn plant, it just can't digest that certain protein because corn borers have an alkaline digestive system as opposed to us as humans, we have an acid-based digestion system. So you could have BT corn and a human can digest it, no problem. It's just like normal corn, nothing different, but for those particular insects, they can't digest it and they die. Yeah, and it's the same thing for livestock, livestock and human beings, no problem digesting this protein. So when you think about it, that basically all the plant is doing is producing another protein. We as human beings like and need protein, so there's nothing wrong for us, but for those specific insects, they can't digest it, well, boy, this is an easy method of control, and it's really natural control. So instead of having to go out and spray pesticides, the corn controls the bug itself. Well, so what is the benefit for you? Even if you're not a farmer, you just say, well, all I care about is the environment. How is this good for the environment? Obviously not spraying a pesticide. That's kind of a nice thing because what do pesticides do? Well, they kill most bugs, maybe even all bugs, depending on the pesticide that you choose. Well, if you're wiping out all the bugs, you're wiping out the good guys and the bad guys by putting this specific protein into corn plants. Now we just kill one species of bugs. That's awesome to have that kind of selective killing ability and not hurting all the beneficial bugs that are out in nature. Part of the reason why we're talking about this today is undoubtedly at some point you will get questions about GMOs and we just want you to be able to explain, hey, here is BT corn. It's just a natural protein. That protein can get used in organic production when it's sprayed over the top of the crop. So what's the difference if we put it over the top of the crop? And by the way, then we have to spend fuel and labor and everything else getting it applied versus if it's in the crop. To me, it doesn't seem like there should be any difference. We think it's just as safe as anything else that you could possibly use. It's a protein that humans and livestock can naturally digest. Well, one thing that I wish the livestock would digest all of is our weed of the week. We'll show you how to stop this troublesome weed coming up later in the show.